Hello and welcome to a new video about my motor controller thing. This time we are connecting the MQTT and this time I want that this thing is rotating. All right. So actually we are not yet there. I also want to have things back. Yeah. So I will call, I will also add a new function. I will call it fall uh, void publish topic. Huh? And actually, I I think it is good that, that you publish a topic. Yeah? But some devices may publish the same topic. So I want to add also a device ID. Okay? So I'm adding here also a parameter string. String. Device ID. And I'm adding another one which is called a uh, prefix. I will add those in the EPROMS offset offsets. Okay. And the, the prefix, why I'm doing this? Uh, because, like I said, I want to have that this thing, that I can adjust a certain prefix and can operate several of them. Then it's motor one, motor two, the prefix, yeah? Ah, uh, the, the, the device ID. And the prefix I want to have that maybe we could distinguish according to the prefix what we want to or call it IoT prefix. What we want to do with this, yeah? If this, for instance, if this message should be, whew, I was lucky. With this measured message, uh, it was already IoT prefix. With this message, I want to write this into a database. Huh? For instance, this message I don't want to read. This is just for informational purposes and so on. So I could add the prefix, then I just have to look what is the first thing. If the first thing is C2B, yeah, C2 database or something like this, copy to database, then we copy the value to a database. And if not, then I'm, I don't know, just ignore it, just display it or something like this. So this is not a bad idea to have some some formalized thing at the beginning. So let's also add this here. So I will call it device ID new param string. Offset device ID then device ID, all right, and the prefix, the prefix is new para string offset IoT prefix and lang IoT prefix. Good. And actually, I also have this in the Wi-Fi callback. Yeah? So I could have a case uh, Wi-Fi callback uh, new device ID. I think you have noticed this before, right?
And then we have, of course, a case Wi-Fi print device ID. It's pretty much the same as we have here SSID, print SSID. Using the same. All right, and we have pretty much the same with the prefix. Wi-Fi, callback, or is it IoT? IoT, callback, prefix or something? New prefix? Yes, 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 yeah. Look at this. It's prefix. Prefix. IoT prefix. Change to. And print. IoT Kovic print prefix. And here just write thread prefix. Good. Good. So let's upload this. Let's upload this to our, our device and set something. I don't want to have a prefix, but like I said, a, a, a device ID would be nice because then I can operate two or three of them. Yeah, with the same program, I just have to change the device ID and everything is working. Mm. And what is happening? Ah, 9600. Why is that? <laughs> All right, should should run. Let's see. Uh, set device ID to fan. Control because it's a fan. Yeah. Get device ID fan control. Okay. Yeah. Get prefix. There must be get IOD prefix. Set IOD prefix to Nothing. I get get IoT prefix. <sighs> Set get get IoT prefix. IoT prefix is dash. Yeah. Okay. Because I cannot set. Actually, can I set? Set IoT prefix. No. <laughs> ah, set ID prefix. Now I have to enter something. ID prefix change to dash. But what if set ID prefix? Now I have to. I do. Not, I cannot send anything, of course. So it's dash. Yeah, minus. It's not. It's not a dash. Is it called dash also? Minus and minus sign. That's it. So that's our our things. All right. So if I'm sending something, yeah, if I'm publishing a topic, yeah, then I I have to have a string. Topic. 
uh, and a string content. Okay, then I will make a string uh, send send topic because I have to extend the topic. Yeah, this shall be in the beginning nothing. Then I will say uh, IOD prefix. Now it will just call it prefix. Prefix. Yeah. Then I will get string. Say send topic. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, I need the address. This is the address of the string. Okay. So if if send string send topic send topic equals dash yeah, send topic equals nothing okay we should we cannot just enter nothing yeah. so I let's have this so device ID, next thing, and this time I will call add string. This means I take the previous string and add something to it. Yeah. So I take whatever is in send string, uh, in send topic, and I am adding whatever is inside the device ID. Okay. What is the next? What is the next thing I need? Maximum length. Ah, doesn't really matter. In the string class, it doesn't really matter. So then we have to uh, send topic plus equals. I will add a backslash, no a slash. This is the delimiter, and now I add the topic. Yeah, send topic. topic and now I can send it away yeah I can call uh, oh ah, this is if verb IOD oh, sorry the common IOD dot info What possibilities do I have? Communication. Control. Why not? Control. I will say zero dot print. Posting topic. Here dot print line send topic and zero dot print with content zero dot print line uh, content. If a certain repose level is reached, I will print what I'm going to do, and then I will make MQTT client dot publish. All right, and we need the send topic dot c string variant, and we are publishing content dot c c string. Good. So this this thing we are calling, then we are 
we're, then we are publishing a topic. All right. I hope. I hope. And now we are subscribing topics. Okay. Subscribing topics. Uh, what topics do we need to subscribe? Mm. MQTT. I will uh, MQTT client dot Is it a NQTT? Client. All right. Dot uh, subscribe. And now I have to. Hmm. I will also use. Uh, I will also use the adjusted the adjusted device ID. String, subscribe, string equals uh, nothing, then I will have device ID dot get string, subscribe string. Maximum length. No. Of course, it just this end. Subscribe string. Huh? Then subscribe string plus equals. I will call it uh, motor speed. Why not? Uh, and I'm subscribing exactly this, this subscribe, subscribe string dot C string. And if I have the proper, the proper repose level, I will even print it out. Subscribing topic subscribe string. Okay. Let's see if this is now working. Let's see if this is now working. Subscribing topic fan control motor speed. Hmm. Oh, this is wrong. This is wrong, but we subscribed, right? Ah, this is backslash. Ah, oh yeah, again a backslash. I did a backslash. This is wrong. This is just wrong. Fan control slash motor speed. All right, and actually I have also prepared here, so uh, I will publish now uh, here fan control slash motor speed, and I will Add property fan control slash motor speed value. I don't know. One hundred. Hey, what is there? Hey, what is? 
I have to press end, that seems fan control slash motor speed value 100, 1000, yeah, 1000%. 1, Publish. Something doing? No. Have we done something? <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows. I've subscribed it. Can I subscribe it? No, I publish it. Okay, I have something. Fan control motor speed. I think, haven't we wrote that we should see callback? Yeah, we should see something. Ah, main code. I have to. Mm -hmm. I have to call somewhere. MQTT client. Dot. Is it called called loop or what? Loop. Yes. The MQTT. The MQTT client was never never acting. Main code. Was not able to sub. Nein! I did this error several times before and I did it again. There are so many errors out there. I do not need to do the same error over and over, but I do for whatever reason. Okay. Now we should be connected. Now we are connected now. Fan control motor speed. Ah, here. <laughs> One hundred. Okay, was in there. Ah, lucky. Finally, I realized how to, to use this thing here. This is new to me. But, we are not seeing anything here. This doesn't make me happy. Fan control motor speed. Is there some pause or something like this? Ah, info. Ah. Ah. What I have used. Main goat. <laughs> I am just. Sabotaging myself, I think. Maybe everything is working and just don't see it because I block it. Yeah, it's working. Ah, now it took too long. All right, so we're receiving something from MQTT. I will put this again to, to a downloadable file in the video description. 
Uh, well, I hope we come further for this today, uh, but apparently not. Uh, huh. Now we're receiving a value. Next time we will then let's spin the motor. <sighs> Finally. Hopefully. Uh, for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.